So Casper's either at the Pico top, the Pico top, or it's going to break out in the all time highs here into price discovery. So bringing in Casper video here, guys, as you can see, we're looking at a daily chart and uh, very smack dab on the top here and looking for the breakout here. Bitcoin's got to behave a little bit potentially here and uh, maybe we get it. But if you like what you see here, guys, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, drop a comment below. Let me know if you're holding Casper. Let me know if you're taking profits here at the range top. And uh, let me know if you're bullish for the breakout. So the TA here is pretty simple. Looking at the daily chart, we are up and over. And we are looking for this symmetrical triangle to break out into price discovery here. And we are so close. I can taste it. The long is feeling really good. The flip side is this. I'm not telling anybody to long the top, especially into uh, all-time highs. Uh, and price discovery, that's a decision you got to make on your own. But if you need help with that, discord.gg slash DeFi Rebels premium. We are killing it over there in New York Live every day. Multiple meetings uh, a week for you. We are teaching you how to handle the charts and read the language of the candlesticks. Don't forget to check us out over there. But let's hop into a couple things here for Caspa. So we are looking for this bullish. Oh, we got a little extra stuff there at the top. And... Um, I must have been showing somebody something. We're looking for the break, you know, into price discovery about 25% uh, from where we're at. I think this is a little lower. I mean, I think another 15% before we find resistance up here at the quarter level theory of 0.2, you know, 20 cent Casper. But if we get the full move of this break here, guys, it looks something like this, right? So all the way to the top again, about 23, 24 cents. And uh, honestly, we could fly. Uh, but a couple things going on with Caspa. A, Caspa launches uh, industrial, industrial, industrial initiative, the KII. Uh, the Caspa Industrial Initiative proudly announces the official launch amid a leveraging Caspa groundbreaking block deck technology to drive innovation, efficiency, and security across key industrial and enterprise sectors. So, a number of things these guys are doing. So, scalability, security, decentralization. Uh, they're solving uh, a lot of these trilemmas. You know, it's one of the reasons I really enjoy Nervos Network. There's not a whole lot of uh, coins I, projects I marry. I mean, I just love the tech of Caspa, man, and just been accumulating uh, since the 0 .003 range back in 2023 when we first gave it to you. And uh, we've been looking good on the charts here, man. So the Caspa initiative here, they have a whole roadmap. It's caspa-kii.org if you want to learn more about this. It's something neat. I mean, this is something that is major in the space. Uh, they're heading out there doing some key things, bringing the communities together and uh, aligning business strategy, which is really, really nice. A couple other things here. This is the long term price versus hash rate um, with some linear re regression on here. But I mean, the hash rates just climbing over and over and over again. Here's another one you here with a ribbon instead of the dot plots for you. So all the way back, all the way up, and uh, it's looking really good, man. Hash rate's climbing. We have the articles. We have the proof uh, that there are U.S. miners out there now mining Caspa in quantity, right? In quantity. And uh, a lot of the uh, trending uh, tokens are very easy to pick up these days if you're using things like Lunar Crush. Uh, we do give you free access to that uh, in the VIP Discord. That's $100 savings a month as it is. You can get all that data right from uh, Aaron and I. But... You know, top trending coins, largest gainers of Q2 2024, top 100 crypto market cap. We got Bright Token up there that absolutely killed it off the base launch. Tonecoin, Caspa, and Monero up there as well. So Caspa coming in number three. Uh, Ondo, another popular one I'm, I'm really heavy into down there at uh, towards the bottom. And then another thing here, we are coming for the top 20. So we are currently sitting at 19.54. Actually, we may have flipped it. Uh, we're about to flip Matic. Matic was dumping last time I looked. Uh, so let's do Coin Gecko here. And let's just take a look here. So we, did we flip Matic? Ah, uh, Caspa. So the, some other things are taken up. We did. We flipped Matic. So we are up at about $4.7 billion evaluation. Uh, Matic says five here, and currently Polygon is 4.7. So we have flipped Matic and um, a bunch of this other stuff. I wonder if Coin Market Cap. Coin market cap. 
If we can take those stables out. Boop, 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 boop. Dun, 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 dun. So Casper 22. So we did flip a bunch of stuff here, man. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's listed a little differently. So on coin market cap, we have not quite flipped it. The screenshot looks like it's from coin market cap. So 21 and 22, but on the heels here. So we are less than 230 million from flipping uh, Polygon. I guess it depends on what kind of source you're looking at on, on coin gecko. We already did, uh, but about to enter the top 20. And uh, if you did take out the stable coins, we're already up there. So if you're a Casper fan, let me know if you are super bullish on this coin. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a look one more time at these charts. I was hoping to catch this breakout during this video and it just goes, goes parabolic for us. Uh, Bitcoin's finally catching a bottom potentially here on the dump over the last couple of days as Bitcoin was fighting for the all-time highs here. Let's see if we can get flipped over on the charts here. I'm not sure why all of a sudden I'm lagging up here. So Bitcoin itself is pushing the top of the range here with a little bit of correction today. And um, let's see if we can extrapolate a larger range for Caspa here. So Caspa, I just need a fresh chart. We'll use the gate IO chart. Let's go out to the weekly and let's just take a peek here. If we can see I mean, look at this trend, this trend for Caspa has been absolutely insane. It never broke trend on the weekly. So opportunities to re-enter into any positions here for Caspa were available for you anytime it pulled back into the weekly trend line. And uh, honestly, as well of a daily trend line here. And uh, let's see if we can find any more patterns for you here. Go back into weekly. Let's see if we can find, hopefully this is not going to be. And here's the parallel channel. So potentially if we do get something crazy, I need my ghost. I don't remember where it's at. So ghost feed, here we go. So potentially we do something like this. So we break parabolically out of where we're at now and just kind of chop up into our parallel channel here and let's see how high that is up here for us. I mean, that's anywhere from, you know, 20 to 25 to 30%. So that is kind of aligning with our 23 to 24 cent prediction here. You know, if I take a look at some other things here, we saw on the charts long-term, uh, what I do like right now is this, you know, crazy cup and handle, right? So we got this cup, you know, we have this handle that is technically already broken out. It's a little sloppy on the altcoins, but here's like the parabolic move, right? So this is the move I really want to happen. Uh, this cup and handle pattern that has been accumulating here forever. Uh, this goes all the way back to February. So the beginning of the year when we first had that Pico top. And uh, as I say this, guys, know that we are still at a Pico resistance top here. And um, if this just lets go, it'll probably pump. If Bitcoin just continues to like pitch like to the downside, it'll, it might try to pull us to the downside here too. So keep in mind, I'm not, this is not a signal to buy the top of Casper, but look at this cup and handle move here, right? So this is 45% pushing 30 cents, right? And we showed you this internal, just this wedge break, right? Gets us up to about 25 cents. And then we have this internal break. I mean, there's all sorts of bullish patterns here, right? And this is the one that kind of gets us more locally up to the resistance here at about 23, 24 cents. So lots of bullish price action here on Casper, guys. Uh, I'm feeling it. Um, I don't really see any kind of rising wedge here yet. Uh, if we close cleanly above this here in the next day or two, I mean, we have resistance, resistance, resistance. And if this dumps to the downside, I mean, we could get something like this, right? So... I want to lay out all the possibilities for you. So if we did just capitulate to the downside, you know, a 24 or 25% drop, I don't think that's going to happen instantaneously, um, but anything's possible, but I am super bullish on uh, what Casper could be doing here in the future. And uh, that's going to be it guys. Don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment. And uh, most of all, I'll see you over in discord guys. I'll catch you on the next one.